When last we left the brave heroes, they had retreated to Galnus's sanctuary, which had been gifted to him by the matron after a terrible calamity in his life. Sometime a hundred years ago, he made a few friends who have sanctuaries of their own who we will probably meet somewhere along the line. But right now, the party is under siege as Madame Seltradot has descended on the sanctuary, shattered the protective barrier, and brought with her a monster much like herself, only a bit smaller. So, let's roll initiative, friends. <laughs> I'm good, thanks. <laughs> yeah, do we have to? This music is so good. <laughs> Uh, I want to roll initiative. Music by Asterisk VTuber, the coolest guy out there. Let we appreciate him. him so much. Oh, Definitely hit him up in the Lawful Stupid Discord. Um, and just talk to him, because he's a cool guy. But... Oh, wait, why am I upset? Yeah. I like rolling low on initiative. Let's no! Go. <laughs> <laughs> that, that dichotomy was fantastic. Uh, I got a, I got oh. an 8, Clint. Uh, Galnus, make sure you click on your uh, character when you roll. I did not. Did I not? Where I did. She? I clicked on him. Where was she? Where was she? Where? I don't know why I didn't add you. I, don't I got a four. Like really solid set positions. I'm going to go be... I think you were near Bosric and um, Clovis. Yeah, Boss slept outside, right? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Probably, I'll be here. Where am I hanging? I will say, like, the drop on this music goes real hard. It's oh, so good. Super good. All right. No, I am no longer Cagnan. I am Zir. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, it, it gives her full name. I thought no. it just said Madam Cell, and I'm like... <laughs> is that is that what happens after perfect cell? <laughs> I a nat yes. one. A new four. Uh oh. Not a nat one. What's your initiative oh. punishment? It's okay. You're still a higher. Ten. Than yeah, that. you're you're still I'm, higher than the I have a alert. Girl. I have alert, so I'm okay. <laughs> yeah. It's not great though. All right. Um, uh, you're third in in the list with a nat one. Wait. I love oh. that for me. No <laughs> yeah. No, it's great. So what? um. The uh, combat will begin with Bosric. Just so everyone knows, the Seltradots have not landed. They are currently hovering 20 feet off the ground. Gotcha. They learned what happened when they get within sword distance of you fuckers. Mm -hmm. So go ahead. I mean, if they're... <laughs> okay, we can, we can, we'll get to that. Bosric, you're up. All right, uh, I'm going to look at everyone. Zia. Yeah. See, see if you can. You're you're best when you're hidden. Oh yeah, Queen. And what was your initiative? Uh, I said I got an eight. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. I'm out. I'll add you in now. Continue. Um. Um. Use use the tower. See if you can hide and get behind her. I don't need you to kill her. Just need you to stab her. Need that poison flowing through her. And as for the little one, we may not have to fight it. Hmm. Okay. okay. Um, that was six seconds. So right. that I, is I mean, if she's not coming for me, I'm not gonna. Okay. I'm not moving. Um. All right. Yeah, I'm basically using my movement this turn to give orders. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna run up to her. <laughs> and that's yeah. <laughs> Clovis Squeedon. Uh, Galnus. She'll attack the biggest threat. We need to make me the biggest threat. Support, you, had, you said you had that new spell, use it. And if you can, that command ability used on Katya, try it on the little one. But for now, we just need to hold out and grind her down and bring her down. And I'll just draw a fang breaker and kind of go. Welcome to your doom! And I will All hold right. my action if she comes close. Okay. Um... It is Madame Seltradot's turn. Uh, she kind of like is just circling as you plan. And as you say, welcome to your doom. Um, 
she screeches in what almost sounds like a laugh. So it's sort of... <laughs> and then she swoops down, still in the air to here, and lets out another deafening screech. So I need... Everybody... Oh, hooray. To roll a DC... No, I'm not going to tell you. A con save, please. Uh, just a note, none of you are in range for my bonus. Got it. 18. Thank goodness. 17. 23. It's a nat 20 plus 4. Okay. Is this a spell or other magical effect? Uh, no. Okay. She's just got a set of lungs. Really, she could have been a torch singer back in the day. 21. <laughs> 21? Great. Um, okay, so that's two passes and two fails. Queden, you will take no damage because you're not 20. Galnus, you are actually out of range. Um, but, uh, so Zir, you will take half damage. Uh, Clovis and Bosric, you will take full damage. Okay, how much? I am calculating that now. That is not a good sign. <laughs> No, it is sorry. Uh, so, um, Bosric and Clovis, you will take 54 thunder damage. Okay. Um, Zir, you will take 27. And Bosric and Clovis, you are deafened. All right. Um, Queden is able to cover his ears. Zir, you kind of just like sink down into your coat, but Bosric and Clovis, you were not ready for this sonic onslaught. And um, Zir and Queden, as you look up to uh, Bosric and Clovis, they are sort of reeling a little bit and you see blood leaking out of their ears. I am at 15 hit points. I'm at five. Yeah, we are in trouble. No room for the cleric to, to make any uh, stab stab this round, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. You did welcome her to her death. She thought I it only her, nice to greet you I said you doom. Back. I said doom. Hey, don't apologize. Zier, you're up. 20 feet in the air, they are. Uh, cool. Have we closed the tower? No. How tall is the tower? Tower is 100 feet tall. Whoa. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Can I yeah, interact with the outside world from inside of it? Can I use um, it as a as a stand a hunting stand? Yeah, canonically <laughs> has turrets every twenty feet up. Yeah. yeah. Nice. I'm gonna look at everybody and go, "Wow, that sucked!" <laughs> and head inside. <laughs> so, um, two of you hear that. Uh, Bosric and Clovis, you hear. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you probably just hear a ringing in your ears. You probably yeah. have the worst tinnitus right now. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I will head inside. Is it marked on the map? Do we have where? The tower? Uh, it's the big square. The, the I entrance. See, uh, I don't see a big square. The big building? Oh, it's the big yeah. building? Yeah, the big yeah. building, yeah. That's, That's the, the tower. tower. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's massive. Okay, where would you say the entrance is? Uh, the entrance is, we will say, here. Excellent. She won't get a tax opportunity, though, for you, because she's way up in the air. 25, 13, 13. By avoiding you, she is also not able to be attacked by you, so. Nice. Okay, I get here for 35, and then I'll go ahead and cunning action dash up to where whatever arrow slit is kind of on par with where she's at. Okay. I assume I can maybe get somewhere reasonable within that amount of time. Uh, yeah. I, I have what I have. I'd have an extra 35 feet of movement once I was here to get to an arrow slit. If yeah. I know we're, we're a little loose. Okay, cool. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll say that, yes, you can do that. Excellent. For sure. And then I shall... Let's look at all my fun, funky stuff that I am capable of. 
That's a whole ass action. I don't want to do that. Okay. Um, I'm going to take a shot with my short bow. I think it's freak of a lady who just screamed at my friends. Um, All right. That is a ooh nat one eight to hit. Okay. <laughs> Remember how I said dice wheeling <laughs> earlier? Uh, dice are not d10. wheeling. Roll a d10. You want to not roll a one or a ten. Okay. <laughs> I rolled a six. <laughs> okay, you simply missed. So, Excellent. this is actually a wonderful time for me to introduce to the chat my rules for nat one. Yes. If you roll a nat one with a weapon attack, not a spell attack, just a weapon attack, you will then roll a d10. On a two to nine, you have missed. On a 10, you have hit one of your allies. On a one, you have destroyed your weapon. Like ir like <laughs> irreplaceably destroyed? <laughs> yes. Can be repaired, but cannot oh, okay. be used for the rest of the battle. Can be repaired. Okay. Yes. I was like, I was like, I have weapons I care very deeply about. Okay. <laughs> cool. Um, great. I I'm like, Jesus, you can't see shit out of this <laughs> slit. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's, it's hard to get the angle on her because she's like exactly. a little bit to the side. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm like, fuck. Who's this <laughs> Jesus she's praying to? <laughs> All right. It's one of my old friends. Uh, will that be um, it for you? I certainly think so. I did my bonus action. That was my action. Yes. Okay. That is it for me. That will bring us to the young lass. Um the young lass is going to kind of learning from her mother swing down to here and also let out a screech i need another constitution save from who um the okay. three in the middle okay okay um however y'all gotta, gotta get the fuck inside <laughs> bosric and clovis you have advantage because I, your hearing has been I, destroyed thank god i was gonna say <laughs> cannot hear Oh, still only a 17. Excellent. I'm uh, going to be out before this is even a thing. 21. Okay. And queen it. Uh, what's the check? A constitution save, please. Cool. Uh, that's a 10. Okay. Um, queen and you failed this time. Bosric and Clovis, you yeah. both succeeded, so you will take half damage. That could still put um, me down. It basically it will put me down. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, Queden, it's 39 to you. Uh, Bosric and Clovis, it is 19. Okay. I'm down too, yep. I I'm will... Uh, in, uh, I guess I will Relentless Endurance. Okay. All right, but that that doesn't like take you to like negatives, does it? Like you're not no. dead, you're just no, no, no. I'm, okay. I am four, negative, four but it was not enough to outright kill. Me. Yeah, cool. All right, yeah. all right. Um, damn. All right, Queden, uh, you see as your friends grab their heads again, uh, and you can kind of you are also deafened at this point. Um, you see uh, Clovis. Um, Clovis actually covers his eyes, um, and you can now see as Clovis's hands fall away, there is blood leaking from his eye sockets. It seems like some kind of permanent damage has been done inside of his skull, and he collapses. Bosric starts to collapse, but then one foot steps forward and he looks up at, um, the sister with just rage covering his face, but Queden, you are up. Clovis is down, Bosric is not. I am, however, at one hit points. <laughs> yeah, uh huh. So, uh, yeah, okay. So, huh. Ex Ex Spore power. Is that. Uh, so that is. The spore power is a bonus action to activate. Bonus action to activate. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. uh, and that just that functions as healing spirit? Correct. Okay. Um, 
So you see, um, like if I can, if I can flavor this, um, you see, flavor it however you want. It's your power. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> um, so I look over, like literally positioned in between um, my two friends that have just gotten absolutely decimated. Uh, you see me like look back and forth uh, for a brief moment uh, and almost not know what to do. Um, and I, I'm like making this decision and I look over at Boz um, and just directly at the ground, like digging up from the dirt uh, is this like spectral form uh, of the wolf uh, that surrounds you, like literally digging up uh, from uh, underneath the dirt. Uh, and that is, uh, that's a five foot cube. Uh, so he'll just be in your, uh, where would that be if we can have that on the map? Oh yeah, all. sure. Sorry. All uh, so he's currently sharing your space, uh, Clovis. Yeah. Or your that's boss. on, uh, that's, that's on boss. Oh, it's on Boz? Okay, so he's sharing your space now, Bosric. Yeah. Um, and just like, there he, circle, is. he like circles <laughs> you around once uh, and just like bows his head. Um, and that is. Whenever you or creature can see. First time, let's start this time. Um, so on your next turn, you will get an additional 1d6 hit points. And then I am also going to go over and does that count as, so can I? It is a spore another... power, it is not a spell. You may yeah. cast a spell. Thank that you. is why that is the power, not the spell. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. Um, Clovis is getting a, uh, he is getting a third level cure wins for me. So that is, I am actually going to do that with physical dice this time. Two, three, plus four. That's five plus four plus four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, 15, 16, 17? Yes. 17 hit points. Juicy. I'll take it. Well, it's what I could do currently. <laughs> it's better than zero. That's super true. Which is what I had. So I will take that. I've been watching too much Game Grumps. You, you said juicy, and all I could think was juicy! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I, I moved over. Okay, great. Thank you for doing that. Um, All right, good stuff. I, yeah, I think that's my turn. Yep. Hey, that's a bomb turn. Well done. All right, Galnus. Uh, so, <clears throat> Zir has disappeared from my view. I don't even know where Seltra Dot is. And I just know that the, uh, the little girl's in uh, place. So, uh, with... Clovis getting back up, um, Boz not being complete uh, hell, and Quedon moving again out of that direction. I'm going to lean down, smash my hammer uh, head on the ground, and go, give me strength. As a shimmer ripples over him, um, kind of a silverish sheen, almost offsetting the... Uh, that heat that you see normally emanating from his armor as I cast Shield of Faith. And I'll start moving. Uh, one, two, three. And move five, uh, the 25 feet. Now I'm going to start um, smacking my shield and scream to them. Why don't you leave the little kids alone? Us old people want to play. And I'll use that to attempt to... Uh, I think I'm attempting to intimidate them. All right, uh, roll an intimidation check. Uh, okay, that is going to be uh, 18 plus 8. That's going to be a 26. All right. 
Um, once I say that, if their eyes dart to me, I'm just going to say lowly to the people in front of me. You might want to run, lads. All right. That will bring us to Clovis. All right. Um, sort of digging his uh, the butt of his spear into the ground to get himself back to his feet. Uh, <clears throat> Clovis will uh, look around, wipe some blood from his ears, and say, Against wind, against fire, against thunderous ire. A shield. Stendar. Uh, and I'm going to cast uh, third level aid. So uh, myself, Bosric, and Galnus are going to get 10 hit points and 10 uh, increased max hit points. Um, and in doing so, I also will gain my Bastion's Wall feature to give myself temporary hit points. All right. Um, So that is my action. Um, and then I'm going to move. I'm going to get myself out of this sort of position that we've got here. <laughs> uh, this cone. Yeah, you guys you guys clumped up perfectly for a sonic screech. I'm so sorry. Yeah. No, it's not your fault. We, we, we picked where we would be. I should have thought about what their abilities were before just like existing um the move up here um, um. and that i believe yeah uh that will be my turn all right um oh wait I cast a spell. So, uh, someone that I cast a spell on, um, which I suppose will be uh, Bosric, you have a reaction weapon attack, if you can take one. I don't think she's near enough to me, and also, I have a... May I... Uh, uh, Dreadmaster, may I sacrifice a reaction attack for an intimidation check on the, ch on the small one? Sounds good. Awesome. Do you believe? Uh, before you roll, say what you're gonna say. Oh, I'm not even saying anything. I, I'm just basically give like from. She thought she knocked like obviously I had a minute of, and she, I'm assuming these things have good enough hearing to know when a heart stops. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she would have heard. So I'm going to look up with. Eyes that once were pure brown, but now look a bit more tiger eye. And I'm going to just loom over her. I don't know if I'm actually taller than her, but... And I'm just going to look at her with a stern expression to basically just be like, No. Down. Not saying it, but it is definitely the, the message communicated by my gaze. Okay. Um, cool. Uh, roll an intimidation check. Only a 12. Okay. Um, so I can never get my be, intimidation checks to work. That'll be your reaction. Well, it it had an effect. Don't worry. Um, Madam Seltradot is actually going to use her uh, legendary action. Uh, so this will actually only affect Zir. Uh, Zir, I need you to roll a dexterity save. Good thing for a rogue to be rolling. Yeah, I was about to say, if, if anyone had to roll dex, I'm glad it was the rogue. Is it a I don't want to kill you. Effect? It is not. <laughs> Clint, I'm gonna need you to stop apologizing. We're enemies now. And I'm not and apologizing. Not I'm kidding. explaining. I We're don't want to kill you. We I'm are not bold. sorry. I've been <laughs> smiling this whole time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, I'm you, feel... you, you, you told me I could take her skull if I kill her or if we kill her. I am probing you to that. I want you that can. Skull. Mm -hmm. Um, I've, I've written that in my notes. Don't worry. Uh, you're fine. You're fine, by the way. Um, you feel like a gust of wind blow into the turret, but you're able to kind of like catch your hands on it oh and not fall yeah. off the stairs. That's awesome. Um, but Seltradot is then going to be over here, still 20 feet in the air, but she is hovering over Clovis. I wish you wouldn't. <laughs> Please stop I'm that. Just, I'm just going to say, what did you do up there? Stop it, thanks. <laughs> what? 
Can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, guys. I tried to. I tried to intimidate them. I'm sorry. Well, so did I. I mean, look how well it went for me. <laughs> oh well, here's the thing. You intimidated them. They haven't moved closer to you. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, everyone <laughs> else is still here. Uh, so that will make it Bosric's turn. So, hopefully I've got my point across to the small thing. Um, I'm going to second win. Now, is she still hovering? Yes. Okay. Um, she's I'm a bit lower, but she's still high enough off the ground that you can't reach her with a melee attack. Uh, of course I can't. <laughs> Like, uh, you guys said it yourselves. The enemies are smart. They learn from yeah. your fights. Mm -hmm. I am going to second wind. For a grand total of 13. And make sure okay. you have those 10 extra hit points and the increased uh, mm -hmm. max. As well as roll a d6 as you get wolf healing. That as well. Uh, 19. All right, there you go. It's me at 30. Um, but, like, is she within range to hit Clovis? Yes, because she has long, gangly arms. Um, oh well. I think she is, I will remind you, a huge-sized creature, which means her reach is increased. Mm, of course. I was I mean, reading my spells. Did you get your extra? Did you get your hit points? He did. Cool. Um, no. If I'm going to kill you guys, I want to do it proper. I'm not going to let you go down with less hit points than you should have. So I'm going to move up and grab and pull uh, Clovis away Whoa. to get him behind me. <laughs> Okay. Um, and I'm going when he to comes back, I will see if he resists. I'm assuming he won't, but there will be an attack of opportunity. Yeah. I don't suppose I can use my luck points against an attack against another person. You can. Right? Really? You can use your luck points to force someone to reroll. Good to know. I just love how, how Jack of all trades Buzz is. Yeah. Uh, Clovis, do you consent to being pulled out of melee range by Bosric? Always. Okay, so uh, she is going to attempt to stop that from happening. Uh, she fails to stop that from happening. Hell yeah. So yeah, I will move you kind of behind and to the southeast of me. So here? Yeah. Excellent. And that's my action. That's you yeah, out of out of danger. And I'm, I'm actually just going to give you a look like, really? <laughs> like, uh, I think it's that. Clovis is going to wipe some blood from under his eyes and give you a look like, Yes. And then and Bob's got Ooh. <laughs> He's got a wild smile though. You get the idea that he has something planned. Like I just don't want you going off unsupported. Mm -hmm. We are yeah. we are a a phalanx here. It is Seltradot's turn. Um her attention immediately whips from Clovis to you, Bosric. Um and in a moment of clarity, uh, she actually speaks, kind of. And as she hisses at you, she says, What'd you, then, what'd you say? She said, my prey, but she said it in a screech. Um, so she is going to swoop towards you now, uh, Bosric, and she is going to attempt to attack you. Uh, but before that happens, I need everyone to roll a wisdom saving throw. 
All right. Spell or magical effect, please? Yay, I'm good uh, at those. <laughs> no. I'm using like inspiration. I'm real good at them, too. Excellent. That is oh, a 25. God. I have a plus 11 to it. <laughs> you beat me. I got a 20. This is a wisdom save? Wisdom save, yes. Oh, okay. Hang on. I'm going to roll those. No, it's not just one round. I rolled an 18. That's a okay. 15. Never mind, then. All the same. And I know it doesn't count. It does if you spend one of your luckies. I spent an, an inspiration. Uh, well, the inspiration was the 13. If you spend the lucky, it's the 18. It's up to you. Uh, Zier, I need a wisdom save from you as well. Is it against a spell or magical effect? I already tried. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't afford. I can't afford not to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take the 18, which okay. is a grand total of 22. That's nice. a 10. Okay, um, Zier, you you get blown back and like you grip on, but as you look back, the magnitude of what you're facing hits Zier. And you realize that even when you push through, even when you killed this woman, even when you broke your pact, she's still fighting. And for everything you've done, nothing has been successful. Your siblings are dead. You tried to save this girl. She died. Now she's a monster. You are frightened. Understood. Um, <laughs> or, or you are suffering a terrible despair, but it's the same basic effect. Okay. Um, the rest of you are successful. You are not frightened. Hell yeah. Um, but now she is going to attempt to uh, swing at you, Bosric. Uh, 27. All right. So that will be 16 slashing damage. And she will grab you. But not with, like, claws in your chest like it was before. She latches onto you with her hands and her feet. Like a bird of prey. And then she is going to sacrifice the rest of her attacks to fly 80 feet into the air with you. Can I make an opposed athletic trick to break free? You can once you're in the air. Uh, of course. So about that uh, backup character you wanted me to make? <laughs> <laughs> um, here I was, all happy with because she's sacrificing her attacks. I will, I will give you an oppose athletics check to break out of it before she gets to her full height. So mm -hmm. go ahead and make an athletics check for me, please. I mean, it's probably going to kill me anyway. But do I get an opportunity attack? You do not. Okay. She is not within your range. 18. Um, okay, you are able to break the grapple at 20 feet in the air. Uh, but she still continues to fly up. Uh, that is eight bludgeoning damage as you crack your back on the ground. Ah. I know how that feels. Um, okay. And I... um, she does not restore her sonic screech. I am at six of sixty-nine, and I am yeah. I I was joking. I was joking for. Um, no, this might be the end of Bosric. All right, uh, that will be the end of her turn, uh, which will bring us to Zir. Zir, you were frightened. Okay. <laughs> um, I am struggling. <laughs> because I feel bad that my friends are getting hurt. <laughs> You're also having but, gesture flashbacks. <laughs> but I don't. But I don't know. I don't know how to. I don't know what to do. I kind of have to stay in the tower because if I come out of the tower, that would be moving closer to her. Mm, okay. Well, if you go on the other side of it. Oh, I don't. Moving that closer far. to the ground would be moving away from her, no? Yeah. As she's now in the sky. <laughs> Logic. Um, ah, oh gosh. I'll hide. Okay. Would you like me to roll stealth? Uh, no. You are very, you are perfectly well hidden. Excellent. Um, that bitch is in the air. 
Mm-hmm. How far? 80 feet? Uh, she is 80 feet in the air. Her daughter is hovering 20 feet off the ground. Okay, and I'm 20 feet. Mm-hmm. You are level with uh, the smaller vampire, yes. Excellent. So range on ranged weapons works up, down, sideways. Mm-hmm. Okay. Great. Then I can still shoot her. Um, it'll be at disadvantage. Okay. Due to frightened. But uh, just it's for... disadvantage against the the creature you're frightened of. Oh, uh, and it was her that frightened me. Uh, it was the big one that frightened you. This one frightened you, yes. Yes. The little yeah. girl did not. Yeah. I'm gonna. Are we focusing her? That's been what we've been doing so far, yes? Yeah. I don't don't... know an actual plan was ever formed at this point. Yeah. I mean, I I think this was more of a Ghostbusters get them. They kind of took us by surprise. Yeah. A a plan was formed, but as with most plans, something Uh, foiled it fast. We suddenly lost (laughs) so many hit points. Um, Okay. Well, I'll go ahead and continue to focus her. Actually... No! I'm gonna focus, um, small child. Well, I shouldn't say it like that. That's... <laughs> this, is, this is the absolute worst time to get blood, bloodthirsty. <laughs> Honestly, that thing hasn't... Aside from that one screen, hopefully I... But up to you. The only problem is it's right next to me and it could conceivably finish me off, but... Well, so that's my thing, right? Is like... I feel like the struggle is... Do we focus down the big bad because we think that the little bad won't be as much of a problem slash will flee if we kill the big bad? Or do we focus down the little bad to potentially... Because she's already lost daughters, right? So if we get her into the risk of losing another one, maybe that can push her into a bargain? There's, I, no, we, we're, we, there's no way we can bargain with her. I'm just going to throw that out right now. I think she's done. beyond the point of bargaining. Like, just in terms of physical capability to bargain. A little bad would run, perhaps. Okay. Uh, I'll shoot at big bad with disadvantage. Okay. Um, which you would have advantage on because you're hiding, so it's a straight roll. Fantastic. That's a 15 to hit. That will miss, unfortunately. Okay. Um, at, you see your arrow strike home, but then you hear a boom, and you see for just a brief second that shimmer of crystal. It seems to be invisible on her body, but it is a very thin sheen of that like oh, diamond-like crystal on her body. That's cool. <clears throat> okay. That's it for me. All right. Uh, she is going to make her first legendary action. She is going to dive to here. Uh, so she is currently 10 feet above Clovis and the prone Bosric. Um, that will be Baby Bat's turn, as you have affectionately called her. Baby um, Bat. Uh, Baby Bat is actually going to swoop up to Clovis, and uh, she is going to attempt to claw you, Clovis. She can try. Uh, 25. Yeah, that'll succeed. That is 15 slashing damage. All right. Doesn't get through the ward. uh, No, but you are grappled. Okay. And so she is going to try to do the same thing her mom did. So you can roll an opposed athletics to try and break her grapple before she gets to her full height. Um. Yeah, I kind of wanted. I kind of need to do that. Okay. Um, uh. Apple, athletics or acrobatics? Yeah. Athletics or acrobatics, correct? Okay. Um. In that case, it is a dirty twenty. Okay. Unfortunately, that does not beat hers. Understood. You are taken 20 feet in the air, and as you go, you hear that cackle from Seltradot again as she looks at you and goes, Eagle. Eagle, Mm Harkening back to when she said she would shatter you on the ground. (laughs) 
So you are now 80 feet in the air in the hands of this screeching bat creature. Yep. Um, Dreadmaster, would Zir have not gotten another chance to shake off Frighten uh, at the end of her turn? Um, no. Okay. Um, let me check. I'd be skewed. <laughs> uh, you will get the effect. I'd be uh, traumatized. <laughs> <laughs> um, because of the specifics of this, it is it is an enhanced version of the dragon's frightful presence. There is one turn of fear, and then you can shake it off starting on your second turn. Cool. Yeah. We're in the dreadlands now, boys and girls. All right. Um, so Seltradot is going to use her last legendary action to attempt to just swipe at the downed Bosric. Um... That will hit. Uh, I mean, boss, that is... It's a 25. 25 damage? No, it's a 25 to hit. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay uh, 13 slashing. I'm down! All right. Uh, so, Bosric, um, so you all see, with the exception of Galnus, um... If I say you all see, Galnus, just assume I'm not talking about you. Uh, <laughs> I, will, I will sense the body yeah. falling rapidly and bouncing as it hits the ground. Well, I was already on the ground. She just... Um, so, uh, uh, Boz hits the ground and there's just a splatter of blood and Bosric's body just kind of spasms on the ground. Uh, Queden, you're up. Um, and don't forget you can move your spirit uh, for free. Right. Can my spirit fly? Your spirit cannot fly. Turn it into silver bolts! <laughs> Rats. Rats. Yeah. <laughs> it can't just start walking. <laughs> no. Cl Clovis is going to go on an adventure, and there's unfortunately not a whole lot you guys can do about that right now. <laughs> How high um, up is he? 80 feet. Oh yeah, I don't know. He's I don't know where he is. Okay, good. I don't. Oh well, then yeah. Even if he could, then shit. Okay. I could shit very easily. <laughs> I'll do it on my turn. Well, that means that I'm outside of range, even if I go below them. Correct. Uh, yes. You could heal Bosric since he is on the ground. I'm, I'm planning on it. Yeah. <laughs> you can move your uh, spirit guardian too. Right. Yeah, so I'm gonna, I was going to do one on one of you. I think I'm just going to do both on Boz. Um, yes. I'd yeah. say that's the correct call. Yeah. Uh, you are 80 feet in the air. <laughs> so that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 can get me here. Is that where I want to be? Um, Seltradot is on the ground right now. That's the one to my... That's the, the big one. That's Big Bat. That's... So the one on the ground... Yeah, so this bat. one is here. I will mark uh, the one that is in the air. I will mark with um, a wing. Uh, they are in the air. Yeah, so here, I'll move okay. I'll move her to the other side. So you'll In actually that case, I would have taken the other way around. Yeah. <laughs> I would have gone this yeah. way. Fair enough. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Uh, um, beautiful. Uh, where's my spirit? Where did my spirit guardian go? Is he down? I don't know if I can move him. I don't know if I see him. But I want him where Boz is now. That's 30 feet, and that that's my bonus action using that. Oh, wait, okay. hold on. Well, hold on, no, 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 hold on. Whenever he moves into the spirit space for the first time or starts his turn there, as a bonus action, you can move. Yes, bonus action. Cool. Um, also, go ahead and roll your d6, Bosric, because technically he is moving into the spirit space for the first time when it moves into his. Ah, okay. That was I was wondering about that. Yes, yeah. lovely. Cool. That is how that works. Great. I thought we. Were I don't know if that's how it works. Red is written, it but is. that's how we're doing it. <laughs> cool. I like that answer. Um, and then. Okay, bonus action. Shit, okay. Well, that's for later then. That's for everything when everything gets fucked. 
Yeah, you let me know when that happens. Yeah, yeah. It's... <laughs> yeah. I, fucked in this context is far, like, is, we're, we're bad, but fucked is, I'm the only one alive. Okay. Um. Give me a couple okay. rounds. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> uh, no. Um, no you're gonna way. get, I have, I have a Ford level. Whoa. You're gonna get a third level. <laughs> Uh, cure wounds. So that'll be another 3d8 rolling. And I am just... I... I don't even know if I'm saying anything. I'm just, like, exasperated. I'm running. I'm trying to be in a million places at once. That is an 8 plus a 6 plus a 4 plus another 4. That's 8 plus 6. Plus eight. Twenty-two. So it is twenty-two. Yeah, thank you. Um, I don't know how that happened. <laughs> that's a, that is an additional. Yeah, yeah that's twenty-two your way. I'm very much here, conscious with twenty-two hit points. You wake up um, with a wolf licking your wounds and yeah, Queen standing over you. It's <laughs> good boy. Uh, yeah, literally. <laughs> um, I just. <clears throat> You've got, we've got to do this, right? We, oh, we can gonna. do this. We can do this. We're gonna. Yes. You've got this, boss. You've got this. We've got this. Is that it for you? All right. Um, Gallus. I'm going to take a quick moment to survey the fuckery. And again, I'll just strode up. And so I'll move my full distance and scream again. Come on, you winged bitch. Take a bite of tougher meat. And kind of moving my head from screaming at the sky, I'm just going to level my head and say, I told you daft idiots to run. I have okay. no bonus actions uh, because I'm, you know, that's the class I chose. And so <laughs> literally I'm uh, ending my turn and waiting. All right. Clovis, you are 80 feet in the air. So I am. <laughs> I find myself in the strangest of places. Um, does she appear to be trying to take me higher than this, or does she appear to be ready to drop? Uh, you're not if I wouldn't sure. be able to find out. Yeah, that's fine. You um, can roll an insight check. It'll be a very high DC, but I'll give it to you if you roll high enough. Uh, would that be an action? Uh, I'll give that to you for free. Okay. I'm going to try and roll it then as a wisdom guy. Hey, I love rolling a 19. Um, insight, you said, is a 26. I'll give it to you. Uh, it looks like she's getting you to maybe 100 feet before she drops you. Okay, which she would be able to do next, next round. Cause, yeah, okay. she has an 80-foot fly speed. <laughs> yeah, okay. Do I want... Am I willing to hurt this child? And is, in the grand scheme, this 20 feet going to make a big difference? Um, I mean, if you can get her out of the fight with your, with the thing you did to Katya. I cannot. It la the effect lasts for one turn. We just got lucky last time in that we made the fight stop in one turn. Um, but if you can, if you can convince her we're friendly. That'd be the goal. I can either do that or I can hit her and maybe get her to drop me now instead of dropping me later. Well, it, I'm saying like it's worth a shot if she can put you down herself. Mm -hmm. uh, and DM, is my spore power a bonus action or is that an action? Your spore power is also a bonus action. Oh, excellent. Okay. In that case- For I the most exactly part, all of your spore powers, all of your spore powers that are not static abilities like Zeers and Galnuses are bonus uh, actions. Got it. Okay. Um, in that case, uh, I am going to 
uh, force her to make a wisdom saving throw as I activate my uh, guardian at the gate feature. Okay. What is the DC? Uh, it is a um, 17. Your guardian of the gate falls on deaf ears as she passes her save with a 19. Okay. Um, then I'm gonna, that's my action, so I will activate my spore power. Okay. Um, oh wait. Hold on. It's a channel divinity. Is it an action? Yes. Your it's channel divinity action. is an action, yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Oh, uh, well. I don't suppose I can use my movement. Um, I, you, you can certainly try. <laughs> I mean, well, can I, can I try you, like, and like Looney Tunes run and like, <laughs> can I try and air? like, try and get her closer to the tower? Try and like yank on her wings to like, a, yeah, like, I'll say that's an opposed athletics check. Okay. God, let's give it a shot. Hey, Stendar, this one's for you. Um, that's a 14. See, if you'd rolled a nat 20, I would have given you advantage on that, just because you, <laughs> uh, unfortunately, again, she rolled a 19. Yeah. She likes you. that number. Uh. All right. Well, did what I could. Okay. Uh, uh Bosric. So she is within reach? Uh, yeah, she's 10 feet off the ground, but you could get her. Then I look her in the eye, flash her a big tusky grin, and go, My turn. And I will bonus action, Fighting Spirit. Okay. I'm assuming you stand up as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I will swing better, better. Uh, 19? Miss. Uh, 26. Hit. Um. Alright, so... Twelve. All right. Action surge. Rip, baby. Nice work. Is she stopping in crit? Hmm. She, she can't. Just... She can't stop crits in this form. Yeah. <laughs> we got a ancestral yes. strike. And, and everyone, this is the proof that is, we, you should know that this party is, in fact, powered by gods and anime. Bob's <laughs> has been holding back this whole time. I had an ability I forgot about. Every time I crit, I roll an extra damage. Die. Oh, That's yeah. big. Boz was holding back. That's this big, whole time. baby. That's this big. is his final form. So, to that end, we have. Let me do my normal roll. So, um, while you, well, actually, you know what? Go ahead and roll your damage. Tell me how this goes, because something's about to happen that's going to make you all very happy. I love okay. happy stuff. So I get my my total. Um, so uh, so it is. Um, go ahead and so it's at minimum it's fourteen damage because that's the d eight plus six. Mm -hmm. So let me go and ahead then, and put that in, and uh, then, and then roll you roll a d eight. Two d eight because it's damage attack. Okay, so you roll two d eight. Yeah. Well, no, uh, so it's an additional uh, 8. So now roll 2d8. Okay. Uh, five. Total? Uh, from, the, from the other 2d8? Um, yeah, okay. Yes. All right. And then how much is your ancestral uh, guardians? 2d6. All right, so that's 12 plus 2d6. Uh, only an extra 2. Okay. So, Bosric, how does this look? 
I'm literally going to take my sword and run it across one of her eyes, splitting her nose, and put, put bisecting through the top of her mouth in a, in a massive slice. And this time, the um, the uh, ancestral strike is an orc with a huge, huge battle axe. And Boz yells something in a language that none of you speak. <laughs> mm. So, um... So the hit does not, unfortunately, bisect her face, but it does hit, and you see her face taken away by the hit. And all of you, even the deafened ones, even the ones 80 feet in the air, hear the sound of shattering glass as the crystal armor around her body, which would have done this on the first crit, shatters, lowering her armor class and removing her resistance to damage. And so I'm actually going to roar in her face as loud as I possibly can, hopefully maybe even disorienting her, and just show her, you put me down twice, I am still here. You put me down three times now, I am still here, and I will have your head. And I have one more attack. Uh, but that one was not great. <laughs> okay. Fours. So... No. She, she got wise. <laughs> Alright. It is now her turn. Uh, let's see if she regenerates her screech. She does not. So, uh, she she gives you a little smile. You know, it, it seems like even in her bestial form, there's part of her that remembers the woman she was. And she seems to respect, respect the drip. So, she is going to, um make three attacks against you. Uh, wait, hold on. First, um, you see some of her wounds closing up on her body. But now she is going to make her attacks. Um, Alright. Uh, 22. That'll hit. Alright. 19 slashing damage. me down to nine. <laughs> All right. Uh, she has you grappled now, so she is going to attempt to bite you. Uh, that is a 30 to hit, so I think that'll do it. No, 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 I don't like that. No, I, I think I'll have to re-roll re -roll that. Okay. That, point. that is a 31 to hit. Well. Which is unfortunately a crit. Well, she has to take the lower one, right? Uh, no. Okay. No, no uh, if you uh, if you make her re-roll, it's just a re-roll. Damn. She takes the re-roll. But it's not a crit, it's just a hit. Okay. Um, oh, actually, I didn't take money. I'm at 14. Get sentinel, bitch. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so it's not a crit, it's a regular hit. So that will be 21 piercing damage and 12 necrotic damage. How much? Sorry? 21 piercing and 12 yeah, I'm necrotic damage. And then, to drive home that you will not be getting up again, she will claw you. What? Okay. Alright. Well, it was, it was fun. Um... But she doesn't hit you. She rolled very, very low. Huh. She rolled a two and a four to hit you, and missed. Okay. But now that she uh, does not have anyone within five feet of her, she will fly 30 feet into the air. Zir, you are still afraid of her. Uh, what are her wings made of? Uh, just wing are material. They feathery? Are they like, No, they're batty? like bat wings. Okay. They're batty. So if I under other circumstances, Lady C T, we could have been we could have had something special. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to I I assume I'm still hidden. Mm-hmm. 
I am going to use my short bow again. And I'm going to shoot at her as a flat roll. And I'm going to okay. be aiming specifically for her wings. So this time, because she is high in the air, you are at long range. I think. How far is she? She's 30 feet in the air. Oh, well, you're 20 feet in the air, so no, never mind. I forgot that you were up on a level. So yeah, you're still at regular range. Yeah, I also, my short bow is at, um, has an 80 range. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, so I will shoot at her. Okay. That's an 11. I'm afraid not. <laughs> Did you maybe think about getting some new dice? It's the digital dice. It's not the purple. I use the digital dice. My point exactly. Get some, get some <laughs> physical dice. I don't want to do math. Um, that is 100% fair. <laughs> <laughs> and I paid for these ones. They're not the basic <laughs> ones. I paid for like a fun little skin. So oh, I, I should be, I should be doing better. <laughs> I paid to win. Okay. <laughs> um, I will fucking perish, I guess. What? <laughs> um, I'm going to. You are no longer hidden, by the way. Oh. Uh, a missed I, attack alerts them to your I, presence. Yes. Yeah. So then I will do that. I will okay. rehide. Uh, before I rehide, I will shout and say, "What do you guys want to do? Because this isn't working." <laughs> and um, and then I'll go hide, like okay. I guess behind like a different slit. Narratively, I'll move over here. So All right. Uh, that will bring you up to thirty feet. Um, nice. So can you please roll a wisdom save for me? To see if you can shake off the despair. Yes. Nope. <laughs> Didn't happen. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Um, Madame Seltradot is going to use her first legendary action to fly over to the turret. Okay. Hello. <laughs> but that, that's all she's going to do. She's just going to be over there, like, kind of just staring in through the window at you. Hey, that's uh, it. Which will bring us to her daughter, who will fly 20 feet in the air and let go. <laughs> right before she lets go, a moment where Clovis looks up at her and just, I don't suppose I could convince you to reconsider. Say no to that. Clovis, because you are in heavy armor, you will not fall the 60 feet per round that a normal person will. You will reach terminal velocity much faster. Understood. You will hit the ground on your turn. Yep. Um... And then she is going to uh, circle over and kind of wheel a little bit lower, still 40 feet in the air, but clearly heading for Galnus now. Um, so at the end of her turn, uh, Seltradot will use her second legendary action to attempt to slash through the arrow slit at Zir. She will be at disadvantage because that is difficult. Um, but I hide. You did hide, so let's oh, see if she can. Uh, she will use her. She'll use her legendary action to use the detect ability to see okay. if she can see you. Did you? Do you want me to stealth against it? Ah, uh, yeah, stealth against it. I'm good at that. Question mark. I got 15. <laughs> um, she is now aware of where you are, but that does okay. burn her legendary action. Okay. Hell yeah. Um, well done. She can play whack-a-mole with me forever. <laughs> uh, Quedon, um, you see an unconscious Bosric right next to you and a meteoric, <laughs> the meteoric approach of Clovis. Have they, have they done yeah. any damage to the tower? They have not. Okay. So can my, can my, uh, can, can... Can my wolf play catch? Um, uh, <laughs> DM, DM, can yep. my can my spirit wolf play catch? Uh, uh, yeah, your spirit wolf can. I will say that if your spirit wolf uses its ability to catch Clovis as he hits the ground, I will reduce the massive amount of damage he's about to take by one d six. By one d six. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean. Every bit counts, baby. So to just go ahead and tell you what's going to happen, it will take the 10d6 he's about to take to 9d6. Hell yeah! <laughs> cool. So, but I don't Which is really not know nothing. 
What yeah, that would be the difference. Anything what else that I actually means, that. because I'm currently resistant to bludgeoning damage, is it will take the 5d6 that I will take down to 3d6. 3d6, yep. That actually rules like hell, actually. Mm -hmm. Fuck yeah, yeah. I'm a kind of epic. That actually is super cool. Okay. I'm so proud of our and tank also, for tanking. <laughs> and also, um, I did forget about one uh, usage of the, um, the, back when I brought somebody else from Zero, uh, I completely forgot about Circle of Mortality. Um, so I'm, it's definitely happening now. Okay. Um, that's maximum possible HP on each dice when rolling. Nice. Um, and I'm going to give that to, uh, so with that in mind, is there anything else that I want to use the spell slot for? I should also note that I should kill you guys more often. Like I was watching, I've been watching our viewership. Normally we get like eight or nine. When I started killing you guys, it's ramped up to 13. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Yeah. The people want blood. Yes. <laughs> Jumps, that jumps, or the people jumps. want sexy vampire mommies. I don't know. Maybe both. Both. <laughs> we all know what it is. Fuck. I'll never turn down getting killed by a sexy vampire mommy. Man in armor falls faster, Galileo enters the chat. Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> that's a... Oh, fuck. Okay, that's shit. Well, I already did that. Okay. Um... I remembered about Death Ward, but I can't use that now because my wolf is catching you. That's fine. You're gonna get another, no, yes. You're gonna get another. Don't like it, you're gonna get another third level uh, cure wounds. Uh, boss. Thank you. You're welcome what I can do. That is a five, a five, and a four. Uh, if it's Circle of Mortality, don't you get maximum? You oh, said? I, I said I was going to use it, and then I already <laughs> forgot about it. I'm the worst d, &D player ever, actually. Uh, no, you're basically a, every d, d player ever. I've been shorting myself a, a d8 of damage that's in eight, every fight. You're fine. If it makes you feel better, multiple times I've forgotten to use legendary actions on the boss monsters you guys are fighting, so it's fine. That's, well, they're that's, doing just fine without them. <laughs> that makes me feel so much better. I should continue doing that. Nah, I got it now. I have notes now. Why do you think they haven't landed? And I would forget that immediately. <laughs> Fuck. We gotta break this fucker down. Yeah. Can <laughs> we, I gotta, do we gotta ground this woman. Anything. <laughs> Like, I mean, that, that's my bonus action and my action. I, can, can I see anything? Like, what? how do they look at, at all? Um, the little one is undamaged. Uh, the big one is healing, and yeah. Bosric did a massive ton of damage, but it is healing fast. I, guys, can I we, really don't like that. Can we tell how it's uh... healing? It got some, to, to quote another famous vampire, it got some sip. Uh, <laughs> it, it seems like it is drinking blood, but also that it just has natural regeneration. Get some sip. Are we in the sun? Um, there is no sunlight in the Hamlet. Oh, you're so right. <laughs> Probably because... Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so will that be a tribute queen, that just the, the big heal for Boz? Um, well, yeah, and reducing his... Um... Yeah, and, and the, the, the catch, yeah. yeah. I don't think I can do... So how much is else? that? Uh, that it is 24. Oh, I will take it. Wait, eight... Times three plus four, yeah. Does oh, anyone... so no. Twenty-eight, I... yeah. yeah. Does 28. anyone have anything that restrains? Nope. I mean... There may be a way to bring them down. It may have been built into this encounter. You just haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Sitting down for a chat. 
Yeah, it's it's that. You just got to talk. I mean, mm -hmm. that's all it is, really. Galnus just needs to offer them a pint of ale, and then... I have... No. <laughs> okay. So that will bring us to Galnus, though. Oh, yeah, I couldn't do anything at all. Yeah, yeah, all right, no, yeah. That was my turn. I was right. thinking about the future. So, yeah, but uh, Bosric, you get 28. <clears throat> so they're they're all in the air anyway, so I can't really affect them in any capacity. Um, I'm going to make an up another couple steps here, and uh, once again, uh, where's the door, if you don't mind? Uh, the door is here. No, I lied. The door is here. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to move here then, and I'm going to yell again. Get your daft asses in your fucking home! And then I'm just going to scream up. You, Leatherface, here, now! And again, I cannot do anything, so I'm going to end my turn. Okay. So, I said it and then immediately did it. Forgot to use a legendary action. Madame Seltradot will use her legendary action now to attempt to claw at Zir uh, with disadvantage. Yeehaw. Sorry, guys, that one's on me. Uh, it's a 21. Hits. All right. Uh, Zir, you will take 16 slashing damage as just a claw just reaches through and kind of just rakes across your back. Nice. Uh, but she is, like, planted on that turret now. So even though she is still 30 feet in the air, Zir, you are now in melee combat with her. Fuck yeah. Do with that information what you'd like. Uh, Clovis, you hit the ground at uh, fantastic velocity. I, I have a question. All right. I know that I cannot stop myself from hitting the ground. Can I steer myself to hit someone else on the way down? Dog is catching you. I'm gonna say I might no. not want the dog to catch me. I'm good. I'm gonna say that that would require gear that you don't have. Okay. Um, I, I, I I hate to say no to my players, but that one's that one's a bit of a stretch. Yeah, you have to go. You have to go do those trials where you jump through the rings and the sky islands, and then you yeah. get the bird islands. <laughs> Fuck! Should have done the fucking sky the sky yeah. quests. Uh, yeah, why yeah, didn't we think with Rafali? I know, yeah. dude. I just. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so that'll be, um, with the reduction, 35 damage halved to 17. Excellent. Um, uh, and you are pro. Yeah, that's fine. Um, okay. I'm still, I am still up. Um, <laughs> when you're up, you're up. Uh, I'm laughing at that, but also I looked at the chat and somebody said, Oreo! Sneaking an Oreo! Disadvantage! <laughs> that was uh, never a rule. <laughs> uh, uh, um, but if it is, I can I get free approval on toaster crackers. Hey, there you go. Okay. Um, I'm having like a whole ass poke bowl right now, so they can eat my ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's the party size, and I have already eaten uh, three of the four wow. sleeves. So... I'm proud of you. We're comfort mm. eating tonight, baby. <laughs> I need it. I need this. Chat, I need this. This is for Chat, me. We need this one. Um Okay. Uh I think uh Clovis will stand up uh sort of So Bosric and Queen, as Clovis stands up, you guys have seen his sort of like magical <laughs> shell before. You've never seen it with a crack on it. Oh. <laughs> uh, just gonna look up at, uh, Seltra Dot is, is currently at the window with Zir, right? Mm -hmm. Just scratching at the wall. We're vibing. Okay. Um, just, just girls being ladies. <laughs> yep. <laughs> girls night out. Uh, you don't want to fall into that trap. There are millions of, of maidens on, on a TikTok that will have your head for that. Yeah. It's a place you don't want to go. Uh, you don't rush her into that. <laughs> not right now. Uh, I'm going to cast a uh, second level guiding bolt at her. All right. Um, so, it's true to hit. Uh, that's a 17 to hit. That will miss. Let's hit. That will miss? Fuck. I thought her armor class went down. She it did. That it much. was a 21. I thought it went down <laughs> further than that. Um, okay. Well, fucking 
that's me, I guess. Uh, I'd right. shoot it next to her and, and like scuff the side of the building and say, Hey, Eagle! Turtle's still standing. All right. Bosric. I need to run, but got and sense a point. How far is it? Um, yeah, I, I will actually run for the door, but I will stand at the door. Okay. They gotta go. So you're trying to get everyone inside? Okay. Yeah. All but right, I'm also he is within your 10 feet, so you would recognize that he is trying to move you inside. Okay, uh, you will also what now? Um, so I had to use my action to get there. Um, so I just will, but yeah, I just hope for the best, I guess. All right, it is the madam's turn. She decidedly does not recover her screech, which would be good, because somebody got themselves into a perfect little punch window here. <laughs> um, she is going to attempt to keep scratching at Zir, uh, still with disadvantage because that turret is too small for her big ol' arms. Uh, oh. Uh, Zir, she overextends herself and gets stuck with a natural one. You can make an attack of opportunity. Has, has knife knife hurt? Yes, well, so that's the question. I was wielding short bow. Will you allow me for my opportunity attack to switch to my dagger? You know what? You guys are taking an absolute pounding. I will 100% allow that. Yeah! <laughs> Thank God. Kitty strike! Oh, <laughs> we take those. Never okay. let it be said that I'm not a benevolent dictator. <laughs> I switch to the Thorn of Haragoki. Okay. Please, for the love of God, <laughs> I I tried to hit. Okay. Do I have advantage from my hide? No, she knows where I no, am. No, she knows where you are. Yeah. Great. It's just a straight roll. God. <laughs> I'm afraid not. I would love. I would love to. I would love to roll someday. <laughs> She's gonna try another claw attack. <laughs> Maybe someday I'll roll things. <laughs> uh, sixteen. Uh, meat beat. Okay. Uh, 13 slashing damage. Hell yeah. Zero's down. Oh. Good lord. <laughs> I was given a pity strike. I failed. I passed out. <laughs> All right. Um, that will be the end of, well, no, that won't be the end of her turn. Uh, when she feels your body drop, she kind of pulls back. And as she does, there's a little bit of the masonry that comes away with her. Not enough to widen the hole, but enough that the tower is slightly damaged. And she turns her attention to Galmus. Um, and she may, she begins to descend. She doesn't descend all the way, but she's starting to head down. Uh, Zir, it is your turn. Woohoo! The same! The dice have not made me feel confident in this. Oh, I got a 10! <laughs> that is a success! Hell Yay! Yeah. All right, uh, legendary action. Uh, Galmus and Bosric, I need you to make dexterity saves. Uh, Bosric, you are within Galmus' aura now, so I think you get the plus five, is it, Galmus? I rolled a nat 20, so... There you go! One, so I'm going to use my last luck point because hell no! Okay. 21. All right. Um, neither of you are knocked prone. As she uses her uh, wing ability. Um, oh, was that it? Uh, like, she, you I, would have taken damage. I, if you succeed, you are not knocked prone and you don't take damage. Uh, I'll take... Yeah, yeah so, uh, but, but if you, yeah, if you succeed, you take nothing. Uh, so it is now the daughter's turn. Um, 
the daughter is going to divert her attention back over to Clovis, and she is going to get within 10 feet of him so that she can attack. What? How she high was she? In the she sky? Uh, how high was she at the time? Uh, 20 feet. Oh, never mind. Oh. I thought it was going to be useful. Um, well, let's see if she recovers her screech first, because she'd rather do that. She does not. Okay. Good. Uh, so, two claws on a bite. Here we go. First claw. 24. Um... That... I'm gonna cast shield, and that'll still hit, but I just need to... But the to shield hit. will help, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, 11 slashing. Uh, alright. Um, and can you give me an athletics check, please? Uh, did you half the 11? Uh, no, sorry. 11 oh. halved to 5. Got it. Uh, and you said in athletics? Yes, please. Uh, it's a 14. 14 beats a 9. You're not grappled. Yes! All right. Uh, 26 oh. to hit for the next one. Yep. All right. Uh, that is 7 have to 3. And then she's going to attempt to uh, sink her big old fangs into your neck. Okay. Uh, 22 to hit. That does not hit. All right, so she, she bounces off of the uh, turtle shell, uh, but she is now within 10 feet of you. Okay. Uh, she can move no further. Um, and then the madam is going to attempt to uh, pick up Galnus, which is not going to be easy for her, but she's sure going to try. Um, that does not hit, so Galnus, you are not grappled. Um, Queen. Remember, I am at a 25 right now. Yes. So we're running? What's the, what, what? Let's call it regrouping for the moment. Just in get the, inside. So right, is the move, yeah. Not get hit for a bit. Yeah. And are you, so you're not grappled, Clovis? No, uh, Clovis no. is not grappled. So you'll be good to run. Okay. Um, no. Well, no, well... I will have to risk getting hit twice to get through the door. Right. Important, for sure. Yeah, and we've got, okay, two in. He's about to get lifted up, so not a lot I can do about that. Oh, uh, well, he, he... he is actually not. She was not able to get her claws into it. Oh, great. Okay, cool. <clears throat> um... Would have without the shield of faith, but Galmas he was he was wise and cast that quickly. <laughs> Galmas, have you taken? Oh, oh no, 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 no. Zir is. Oh well, no. I I've taken can't. no damage of any kind. Spirit, yeah. spirit cannot go that far to where Zir is. No, um, unfortunately. Cool. Um, and you're not doing oh. great on hit points, Clovis. Yeah. Uh, yeah, not super great. Yeah. Okay, but like you're alive. Uh, yeah. Are you the one who can get exact hit point numbers? Yes. I got 15. Cool. It's essentially uh, 30 because I have resistance to most damage, right? Um. Cool. I will give you... Ah, God. Well, honestly, I was gonna... Okay. I don't know if there's anything I can do to help you with what you're going through right now. <laughs> I think just the just the wolf is gonna have to get me through it. Well, I can give you a heal and then run. Yeah. I mean, yeah, if you can do that, that'd be great. Yeah, I'll do that, and then I'll leave the wolf with you. Um, cool. So I will give you a second level heal. Does it have the same max dice thing? Or can no, you, uh, no, it's that's not getting zero. me up from zero. Yeah. Hey, but I wrote okay. That is a 7 plus a 6 plus a 4. That's... 17? Plus a 6 plus a 4 is 17. Yeah. Oh, well, almost wrote 117 in there. A little bit of wishful thinking. Nice! And no, no. then I use my <laughs> movement to fucking... Unfortunate. Ah, shit. said no. <laughs> to, I can't really... Uh, well, I can... I can one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
Uh, and then, okay, so the, wait, that was action, movement. I did not move my wolf because he was still, no, I did move my wolf to get him, shoot. Trying, I was gonna try to hit and step also. Um, okay, that's my turn. All right, Galdus. She is still just out of your range. She's she's trying to stay above you. Okay, so that's a good time. <clears throat> uh, how high is the daughter? Um, the daughter is ten feet off the ground as well. Okay, and um, how high is uh, Lady Seltradot? You said 10? 10 feet. Uh, sensing any metal, anything on her at all, or no? No. No? Fair. Um, I'll just move in front of the door, letting people through, and just say, Come, friends, come. <clears throat> Try again. And I'm just going to end my turn. To... All right. Clovis. Okay. Um, hmm. She's right on top of me. Um, hmm. Which I don't like very much. I need... Yeah, no, I gotta... Um, I'm gonna cast, uh, Clovis is gonna look up at, uh, the, the newest daughter, Dimitri's sister, who is, uh, trying to attack him, is going to say, I'm sorry, I really didn't want to do this. <clears throat> Form up! Uh, and cast Spirit Guardians. Okay. Uh, so I need her to make a Wisdom saving throw. All right. 17. That is a fail. All right. Uh, so she's going to take 3d8 radiant damage, which is uh, not too bad. Uh, 14 radiant damage. All right. She spawn upon. takes it. Excellent. Uh, and then I'm going to use my bonus action to... Hmm. No. You know, I don't think I will. Um, is she, she's currently within melee range of me. Yes? Uh, you, you are not in melee range with her. You are in her melee range. Okay, but for the, for the purposes of opportunity attacks. Yeah, she can make she opportunity is. attacks on you. Okay, uh, then I just need to stay here. Um. Well, I guess I could do that. Uh. Yeah, why not? Never hurts to get one of these on the field. Um, I'm going to cast Spiritual Weapon. Uh, so my... Uh, you, uh, you cast Spirit Guardians. Oh, that's right. Two two spell slots. Okay. Uh, that one will have to wait for another day. Um, yeah. Okay. Um... In that case, I am going to use my bonus action to instead uh, harness divine power and get a second level spell slot back. Okay, sounds good. Uh, and right. I'm going to I'm going to maneuver around her to the other side to get closer okay. to the door, uh, but I'm going to stay in her range as I do. All right, and that will actually bring us to a good place for our break. So um, we will be back in a short time. All right, we're back, friends. So, uh, when last we left our brave heroes, they were trying with all of their might to fight these two horrendous monsters in the sky. It was working to a degree, but they're not doing the kind of damage that they wish they were. 
a lot of their fighters are ground fighters, and it seems like the bosses know that and are staying in the sky, but if only they could find a way to bring them down. Bosric. I will uh, pull out the crossbow. Okay. I'll only be able to do one shot and then reload probably, but... Right? Uh, yes, that is correct. That is a miss. So I will reload. Okay. All right. Uh, it is the madam's turn. She will try to get back her breath. And she does. Ah, uh, great. <laughs> um, so... This is only going to hit Galmus and Bosric, but I need both of you to roll con saves. Twenty. Absolutely filthy twenty. Nice. It's going to be a twenty-four. All right. That oh, actually, no, that would be twenty-five because I'm standing right next to my uh, paladin buddy. Mm -hmm. All right, that is a success for both of you. Then you will take half damage. So you will take 57, halved to 28. I'm wrong. Damage. All right, so uh, Bosric hits the ground, and Madame Seltradot. Um, Can I angle myself inward to, like, yeah, here? I'll, I'll say that's fine. Also, because you're kind of being blown back by that sound. Um, Galdus, you are deafened. Oh, no, Oof. you're not deafened, because you, you're neither of you are deafened, because you saved. Um, but that is going to be the end of her turn. She will attempt to fly away. Um, actually, no, she won't. Uh, she's fine where she is, because she wants to keep harrowing Galdus. Zir, death save. Wahoo. Here I go. You got this. Nice. All right, that's two successes. See, you can excel in this because they're you safe. Hell yeah. Um, Madame Seltradoc is going to attempt to uh, grab Galmus again. Uh, 29. Um, as she reaches forward for me, um, I'll just smack my shield down against the ground and uh, move behind it, and I will cast shield, raising me up to a 30. All right. That'll be her legendary action, and it is her daughter's turn. Her daughter will also get back her her screech. Fucking oh, horse. She will fly to here, and this is going to be Queden and Clovis. Okay. She did guess. teach her pool in the night that before we go, she got here. Oh, that's my dear line up here, and then you can. Uh, so yeah, oh God, I need no, one, I want fan of saves from the two of you. Con save, cool. Yes, please. Say twenty-two. That is a success. It uh, just might keep me alive. Who knows? The twelve. The twelve is unfortunately a failure. Yep. So, um, Queden, you will take fifty-seven thunder damage and be deafened. Uh, Clovis, you will take. Uh, 28 and not be deafened. Okay. Guys, I got bad news. Still up. Oh no, is Queen down? Oh dear. This is... Yeah. Alright. I was trying to think about when I got hit last, but I got the, yeah. Um. Yeah. But that does down you. I was at 37, yeah. Okay. So, um... I'm down. Roll a d6 for me, Quedon. Okay. Lucky dice. It's a five. All right. Um, you all see as Quedon uh, grips his ears and begins to fall forward, the wolf's head snaps around, and you all, even those of you who are deaf and hear a voice in your head say, Not yet! The wolf jumps into Queden's chest. Queden, you are at five hit points. Rad, okay. Your healing spirit is gone. 
Oh, fair. <laughs> um, now you have discovered the other half of your spore power. The first time you are reduced to zero hit points, it will find and heal you anywhere on the battlefield. Whoa. Oh, that's so cool. cool. Oh, hell yeah. I, All uh, right. That's neat. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, um, she needs to uh, make a wisdom saving throw for a spirit guardian since she started her turn in my radius. Uh, yes, she does. Um, uh, she, that's a wisdom save, you said? Yes. Uh, a fail. Nice. Excellent. It doesn't matter what the DC is, a seven is not going to do it. No, it is not. <laughs> Uh, she takes 14 radiant damage. All right. Uh, she's starting to not look great. Um, so, um, Seltradot seems to be getting frustrated with the fact that she cannot pierce this tiny armored figure's body. <laughs> um, and is going to try and claw at him one last time. Uh, keep in mind that my um, shield is still active. 30, yes. Uh, that will not be quite enough. She will get a 29. Uh, so she is unsuccessful. Queen in Europe. Gang, imagine dodging a, a 29 to hit. Could not be me. Yep, that's Paladins, man. Yep. No, no, Queen disappeared on his turn. Oh, he's back. Good. My apologies. Wait, did she no, use a, um, a, a legendary action or something to attack me? Or Yes. Hmm. She has three per turn. So oh, I... Uh, Clovis is down. No. no. Clovis is no. not down. Clovis is not down. No. Who's down? Oh, I know who's down. You uh, were down, and then you were not. Well, yeah, right. Boz yeah. Bozrick and Zero are down. Bowser can yes. zero down, both down. Yep, that's right. Clovis is the okay one. But I'm hanging in there, baby. Okay is a loose <laughs> term. You got two, you're fine. Sitting at a solid four. Okay. Um. Uh, you can enter the space with the monster because she is 10 feet in the air. Oh. Excellent to know. So good yep. to know. That, and you can make it, uh, and they don't have a turn, and you can make it inside before their turn so mm -hmm. I think well gonna, she does have 10 feet of reach so if you move out of the out of her square she will get an attack on you just fyi mm -hmm. so i can run underneath you, her you can run inside. i'm just saying like you can run through her but she might hit you if right. you run out yeah you're a third bulk though you can turn invisible I, yeah i can yeah that's mm -hmm. I can do that. I'm thinking about Clovis right now. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Don't worry about that. Don't worry well, about me. No. Right. no Not this I have, We no, have it's... much more pressing people that need to be saved. Yeah. Okay. Bonus. Okay. That's. But I don't. Mm, I don't know if I want to not worry about you. But. You're down and you're down. Can I cast a? Oh yeah, I can do a. can make it in and then if you die when you're in that's fine because I'll also be in <laughs> so I am going to um, I can get one two three four five yep cool bonus action I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna hidden step um, and that will be uh, you see me like survey the battlefield like look at Clovis, uh, and I, like, temporarily turn transparent, and then it looks as though my transparent form just sinks into the earth um, as I go fully invisible. Um, and I'm gonna, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm in, baby. So... As you walk to there, um, Seltra Dot, who has been slashing at Galnus, as you walk past, her head kind of snaps forward and she sniffs the air. 
and she is going to strike out at you with her blind sense because she can smell you. With damn vampires because I'm invisible. She can see. She can smell you. She knows where you are. She has blind sense. Okay. Well, I've tried. It's, I mean, it's just a normal roll, but okay, yeah. that does hit. Well, <laughs> okay. Uh, I think you're, I think you're, you're out, but you are out, out of her range. Uh, so that is, yeah, 15 slashing. Well, right. Okay. I definitely should have protected myself because I thought that that would, I'm okay. Cool. Okay. Wow. It's fair. I'm, we didn't I'm, know. I'm, yeah, I mean, it's it's you. No, Queen no, wouldn't no. have known, so it's okay. Yeah. Don't worry. We're I, got, I got hit by the old one-two sniff. So, um, Queen, you are in fact in, as you are kind of just like smack on the ass, just backs you into the... <laughs> also, I would, like, I would like to remind the group that everyone inside the castle is unconscious and everyone outside the castle is not. Oh, yeah! yeah. Yeah. Get your castle strategy going Stand down. Stand up for tanks. <laughs> <laughs> you said you look tired. Yeah. Yeah. You can't tell it takes all my friends that are my bleeding out inside. So. I don't. I don't know if yeah. we should be cheering about this. <laughs> Queen, if you're down. So, uh, Galvis, you're up. All right. <clears throat> so I just watched her beat the hell out of Queen because. I could see in 10 feet, too. Well, um, no, you watched. All, so, wait, do I get uninvisible when I go down? So you... you um, I can also... Yeah. Queden, I can he, also... He, he can also... He yeah. can see invisible creatures. Right, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm going to swing, uh, pop up from behind the shield and swing um, on her. Um, I'm going to try... Um, wh what's presented to me? What am I seeing directly in front of me? She's 10 feet in the air. Oh, she's still 10 feet in the air. Yeah. So I still can't attack her. Um, um, I liked what you said. Roll an athletics check for me. Because I think Galus is getting a little bit desperate and ticked off at this point. Um, yeah, doesn't matter. That's going to be a seven. Okay. So you're, you're, you're too heavy to jump. Yeah, no shit. Um, really, at this point, I'm just going to call out to... Um, Clovis and say, just get inside, and I'm going to move into the door. Okay. Uh, does she want her attack? Uh, if you're moving into the door, she's already used her reaction for her turn. She can't attack you again. Okay. Um, Good to know. Run, bitch! No, um... <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm going to move in. One, two, three. I'm getting out of line of sight. Every time I knock one of you unconscious, there's another viewer. I gotta keep doing it. <laughs> yes, apparently. Um, I'm going to, um, instead of doing anything else, uh, because, again, I'm kind of uh, bringing a limp dick to a fucking contest, I'm just gonna uh, bend down and be like, <laughs> bold move for bold, bold move, and I'll smack him, just like kind of in jest, and uh, pour 35 points of um, lay on hands on him. Um, Queda, you feel a warmth that you you haven't felt in a very long time as fire, <laughs> but like yourself. the fire of like a <laughs> fireplace washes over you. I love paladins. Um, <laughs> I'd say as you start to come around and and and, re and realize you're back and be like, <laughs> you might want to get the other kids up. Do you need a drink? And I'll end my turn with that. <laughs> All right. I will say this, Queen. You taking the hit from Adam Seltradot may have saved Clovis's life. Clovis, it's your turn. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to uh, action disengage and get into that door. Okay. Uh, and then um, slam it closed. Yeah, you don't even have to disengage. So you slam the door closed. And I'm going to switch to the music. Yeah, I love that oh, you yeah, slammed the door closed as the music ended. That's fine. Uh, so, yeah, if she used her uh, reaction yeah. on him, then I don't have to disengage. Which you is don't. Good. Yeah, you slam the door shut, and um, you can hear them attacking, and you can see the arms coming through the turrets. Uh, I need a death save from Zir and Bosric. Because they would have had a turn before the rest of you. Uh, mm. I have my action, correct? You do have your action, yes. Okay. Uh, 
as I as I make it through the door, um, Clovis slams it shut and says, "It's bad in here, worse than I thought." Um, <clears throat> I'm stable. The edge, <laughs> you're excellent. <laughs> At Yay. the edge of the forest, a light, a torch, a path, all will make the march to my city, Stendar. Uh, and I'm going to cast Aura of Life, so everybody who is currently unconscious gains one hit point. Cool. Um, all right, so everybody's up with one hit point. Um, the vampires circle and attack the tower for the better part of a few hours before they seem to give up. And unfortunately, Galnus, you can hear them ransacking your house and your forge, but all replaceable things. I was gonna say, why don't we heal some of these guys up and bring them in? Yeah, well, when Galnus, when Galnus like grabs my head, I, I look into Galnus' eyes and I say, you are quickly becoming one of my favorite people. And then I stand up to heal everybody, immediately get super dizzy and just go right back on my knees. <laughs> Um, so Clovis before they leave, I'm going to ask the group, like, uh, do we want to bring them in here? I mean, there's a ceiling. They can't get away. Yeah. As a, as a heads up uh, to you, the DM, I don't know that we're ready to end this fight. So I don't know that we would wait multiple hours for them to leave. Okay. Well, then. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. <laughs> we just need a little bit of a breather. Yeah. Yeah. How, how much life do we get back from this thing you yeah, cast? how dare you take us out of initiative? Come on. Uh, what I cast only keep, gives people a hit point when they go unconscious. Okay. So I, then, I can't give anyone health. Um, I will happily keep you at initiative. Hey, uh, 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 girl. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> learn your name. Hi. If you oh, hide we're... behind my shield... If we bring them in, you can jump out and blah, stab one. We're, and we're in initiative. I'll in leave the you eye. to hold your plan until your turn. Oh. Bosric. I'm actually going to look for... Uh, is she attacking a point that like, her arm is coming from? Uh, well, right now, no, because we're in initiative. I'm going yeah, to wait. I'm going to wait until her arm point. becomes visible. <laughs> And... DM is viciously complying to our initiative <laughs> request. <laughs> we ain't yeah, I'm done. Gonna, I'm gonna wait until hold my action, off, aren't we? my attack until the minute her arm becomes visible, and I will hack at it. Okay. I mean, if we're staying in initiative, what they're doing is gonna be very different. So, uh, okay. Seltradot's turn. Okay. Um, her arm does not become visible, but, uh, there is, uh, crashing against the wall. Zir, it is your turn. She's here right now. Up to the, the turret where you were. Listen, I've got that cool dagger. I can try again. Oh, would her fear effect go away because she hit zero? Uh, her fear effect already went away. I shook it off earlier. Yay! I forgot to just undo it in D D Beyond because I passed. Yay. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try to hit her again, and then I. Okay. Well, she you can't reach her right now. You don't have to use a ranged attack because she's her arm isn't through the door. Uh, hmm. Is she smacking on the door or just part of the wall? She's slashing at the walls. Okay. To know. I mean, I think bringing the fight in here is smart. That's kind of why I ran in here, but then I still got messed up, so... To the center. <laughs> and I'll go... Is there... I know that we've kind of got a cube just for reference, but there's furniture in here, right? Uh, as written, no. There's only whatever we bring into it. Yeah, there's um, there's like there's furnished rooms, there's beds and chairs, but that's it. Okay. Because this there... this isn't the one from the DMG, or oh, from okay. the the handbook. It's it's that plus like uh, furnished rooms and a furnished kitchen. But other than that, there's nothing. We paid okay. we paid for, we paid extra for pre-furnished rental. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, just to, in the interest of keeping the game honest, uh, Dreadmaster, 
as written, the instant fortress does have hit points. Uh, I know. And like damage. Okay. I, I, I sure figured that that's he's keeping right. he's keeping track. Um, because if there's a table or something, I will go hide under it. Okay. Um, and I'll just be like, we should have them come to us, I think. And I will, so I'll use, I'll walk over here. I'll use my bonus action to hide. Here's a stealth for you. 23. And then I will prepare action to stab. And the trigger will be that I'm holding the Thorn of Paragoki. And I will stab with, ooh, 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 black square. The world what is dark. Oh, there we go. Oh, inside. Okay. I see. Oh. Terrifying. Um, I don't, I don't like this. DM, <laughs> DM, I don't the like this. Consequences of our actions. DM, I don't like this. <laughs> the fear of the unknown. <laughs> um, I'm going to hide under the table and then I prepare action if. Big lady, not small lady, comes within stab of Haragoki range, I will stab. All right. Uh, big lady will use a legendary action. Do any of you speak Draconic? No. No. Negative. Okay. Gonna wait for Clovis to get back to see if he does. But those Clovis, of you who are here... Clovis knows some fuck shit. You, Who's hear, to say? <laughs> uh, you hear some hissing and growls that you don't recognize. Hold on, I'm, I'm on it. I'm on the case. Hold on. According to us... No, it doesn't. <laughs> it okay. apparently does not. So all of you hear hisses and growls that you don't recognize. And then you hear... Um, you hear a crash from where Galnus's forge was. Oh, okay. Queen. I don't know what to do, gang. Uh, I mean, heal. 100%. <laughs> yeah. Do that. Right. Sure. All my good heals are... Everybody has one. I got four. Wow. <laughs> I can mass healing word, y'all, but that's not a whole lot in the grand scheme of things. That'll bring everybody up a tiny bit. I'm good for that. Some is some is better than one. Some is better than one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, I guess they can only choose to attack one of us, and if I need to individually... Okay. I mean, she's capable of doing 50-plus damage in a turn, and for some of us at one hit point, that would mean we die. Yes. So, so getting us getting us out of the damage danger zone will be really helpful, even if it's just like ten hit points. Danger Average zone. Will be eight. We'll hope and pray that it's better than that. Okay. That's what I'm doing. DM vibing. DM having Mass a great time. Healing word. <laughs> Don't tell that me is... this is the first Duke. <laughs> Yeah, I did have we, know that. Have we been thinking about that? Because I've been thinking <laughs> yeah. about it a lot. Mm -hmm. That is In on the six that creatures. One. So that is myself, yeah. Galnus, Zir, Boz, Clovis. And you want to heal her? Madam Seltzer. <laughs> <laughs> a peace offering? A traitor. Uh, uh, no, Two just very the different five. responses. Just the Queen was the first Duke all along. Ooh. No. <laughs> uh, um, Austin and I have been playing the long game. Two d four plus four. Finding my best d four. 
I did enjoy what you said, though, Moira, about malicious compliance. That's exactly yeah. what this is. <laughs> <laughs> That's Stand what I'm talking rules. about, people. <laughs> Everybody gets an additional 11 hit points. Nice! Whoa! Yay. Well done! Yay! Tortilla heels. heels. I'm at 12! Love it. 72! Fuck yeah! 15! That's an action. All right. Uh, 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 I don't know if I can do anything else. Bonus action, sweat. Okay. Um, for her second legendary action, you guys hear Madame Seltradot push off from the tower, and you hear another crash from Galnus's forge. They're trying to draw us out, yeah? You don't know? Galnus. Uh, before your turn, you feel a pulse of anxiety from your lantern. Don't exactly know what to do with that, because I was told they were safe with me. Um... <laughs> I'll, I'll have to ask the lantern. What's wrong? The door. What is it made of? Uh, looking at the door. What is it made of? What? Well, you, you can't look at the door, but uh, if you ask... Well, I'm saying, what is the door? I definitely... Yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> I'd feel the door. Wood. What is it made of? It's made of wood. Uh, and she says, as you say that, or as you find that out, you didn't douse the forge. Yes, I did. I doused it when they jumped into mine. We left it. Um, they went in, but I let it smolder. It's smoldering. It's not doused. And they got bellows built in. Uh, what do they do? Uh, and so, uh, I'm going to have to go back outside. It's okay. We want him inside. We want him inside. I'll Then I'll open the door, say to you guys, get out of eyesight. And I'll just say, the real fun's in here. And I'm trying to persuade them to come in. Okay. Roll a persuasion check. That's going to be a 22. Okay. Um, all right. At the end of your turn, Madame Selchardot is going to use her last legendary action. Galnus, you feel it, but Clovis, Quedon, and Bosric, you see um, a flaming stick flies into the room. Smoke begins to fill the room. Not very fast, but fast enough that this isn't going to be a permanent place to stay. Clovis, it's your turn. Excellent. Um, hmm. uh, um, I can break concentration on spirit guardians and do something else, or I could not do that. Decisions, decisions. Oh wait, Spirit Guardians is gone anyway, because I have a life life up now. Um, well, that changes my decision drastically. Um, how far away is the forge from here? Because the door is open now, yes? Uh, like yes. 30, 40 okay. feet, yeah. And I am standing- The forge in is... 90 feet from you. Oh, I lied. <laughs> okay. And you can see with the door open that uh, Seltradot threw the lantern in, or the piece of wood in, and is going back for another one, and Baby Bat is... Um, 
coming back with fire in her hands. Okay. Um. Uh, I think under his breath, uh, Clovis is going to whisper to himself, I'm sorry. I don't see much other choice. Uh, and he is going to cast another Guiding Bolt at Baby Bat. All right. Range is 120 feet. Yep, you got it. Uh, hit. Uh, that's a 21. That will hit. All right. And that's 4d6. Oh boy, 21 uh, radiant damage. All right. Uh, as the bolt smacks her in the chest, she lets out a terrible screech. Her wings fold behind her and she drops to the ground. Uh, as I see that, um, I'll close my eyes and whisper uh, as I put both hands on my shield. Stendar, please. A place in the city. Like I said, you just had to hit him. Yeah. Um, I'm actually going to uh, yell out, ah, Clovis, I wanted to go three for three. <laughs> so she'll hear me. Oh, she's not dead. Not even close. She oh, just okay. hit the ground. Hmm. Oh. Oh, okay. Hold that. I see. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, 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 no, 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 I was, no. I was like, that was easier than I thought. <laughs> Absolutely not. Oh. It's cute that you think that. <laughs> I didn't. I was surprised. Uh. Um, all right. Uh, well, that was my action. Uh, my bonus action, or not my bonus action. Um, my movement is going to be not being in the doorway. All right. Oh, uh, actually, I'm going to get a lot farther away than that because they like cones, and I don't. Um, yeah, and that wall would not block a sonic attack. Yeah. Bosric. Um, shooting a prone face disadvantage. Fuck. I'll try and hit the other one. I guess I'll try and give a, a shot at her. Where is she and how, how high up is she? Uh, she's 10 feet off the ground, and she's where she is. Oh, actually, you'd have a flat roll, because I hit her with Guiding Bolt. Yeah, but I don't want to waste hit that. the little right. one with Guiding Bolt. Yeah, right, Yeah, that's right. what that's what So I that's mean. a flat roll, yeah. Well, I guess it's the same difference, really. I'm not going I'll shoot the baby. Okay. I would like to shoot the baby. <laughs> Stupid token settings would finally go away. Nat 20. Nice. Oh, yeah. That's big. Uh, Can you do your thing on range attacks? Uh, let's see. Um... So it's a critical hit. So yeah. Was well, this your half orc savage attacker? Yeah. Just says when I roll a quit a crit. So it's one d eight plus one. With a melee weapon attack. It does say that. Just says seven attacks as scores. Just says a score with critical hit. It doesn't say. Uh, I'm looking at it here. It says with a melee attack. Hmm. All right. So that is uh, seven, or it's nine plus seven, or not nine plus six because six is what you rolled. So it's. I mean, it's still fifteen damage. So don't don't worry too much about it. So that's a good hit. I'll reload. Look over at Seltradot and slip back away. Okay. All right, it is Seltradot's turn. All right. Um, she will. Are you where you you are there? 
Yeah, I backed up a bit. Um, okay. Uh, Seltradot is going to fly down. She is going to get another burning brand. She is going to come back and she is going to throw it through the window, intending to hit Bosric. So she will be rolling with disadvantage because she cannot see you. Uh, that is a miss, but there is more flame in the house. Zir. Woohoo. Wheel. Um. I'd like to not be under table in the burning building, I don't think. Also, to address the question that was put in the chat, the f the god from the forge was put into the lantern. The lantern was then allowed to smolder. Fire does not douse immediately unless you put it out. Yeehaw. I think I'm going to skitter back over to my lovely friends. Five, 10, 15, 20, 20, 30. Um... If you want to grab some of that fire and throw it out, that would be cool. Can I do that without hurting myself? Yeah. Sure. As I skitter over, I'll, I'll pick up a piece of log and toss it out the door. Okay. Can I can I attempt to toss it at Baby Bat? It's kind of far. Yeah, it's a little far for that. Okay. I will just toss Bosric it out. Bosric could, you cannot. That's fine. I will toss it out. Okay. I will be here. There are also doors on the other side you can throw it out of. Where is the door over on this side? That's a good point. Uh, it's sort of central on each of the walls. Like here-ish? Yeah. Door. Draw a door. This is center. Any things? Approximately. Do a little doorknob. Alright. Okay. Backtrack. I was approximately here. Mm-hmm. Okay, that might not be 100% accurate, but we'll, we'll roll with it. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30. Yeah, that's accurate. Um, I will grab a piece of schmutz. Does that require, is that a free action? Yeah. Great. I take the schmutz. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. I cunning action dash. 5, 10, 15, 20, mm. 25, 30, 35. I toss it yay okay. direction, wherever that might be. Okay. I'm here now. All right. Okay. Uh, Selchadot is going to use a legendary action. Uh, she is going to come to right here. Still floating in the air, but to right there. And it is now Baby Bat's turn. She is grounded for one turn. Um, so she is going to run. Uh, and she is going to... Uh, the door is very small, but she is going to try and crash through it, since it is open. Uh, she needs to roll very high on this. She does. Uh, so with a nat 20... With a 22, she hits the door, crashes in, and she's going to actually end up right here. There is now a break in the wall. And, um... Bosric, she's going after you. Because you <laughs> shot her. Um... That is a miss. And a miss. And a miss. Wow. Wow, she rolled very poorly. Really great on her strength check, very poorly on everything mm -hmm. else. <laughs> Uh, Excellent. 
Madame Everything Soldier is going, is going to cool. use her final legendary action. I need Bosric, Queenan, and Galnus to make deck saves. Twenty-three. No, uh, eighteen, because I'm near Galnus. Okay. That's a six. Okay, uh, Galnus uses. Uh, right. Ah, uh, yeah, it's an, it's an eleven because of plus five. Uh, Galnus, you succeed. The other two fail. Um. So. Um. Galnus, you are fine. Bosric and Quedon take 10 bludgeoning damage, and you are knocked prone. Alright, I'm down to two. And then so Seltradot is going to fly down here. Plus prone? Yes. Cool. That is correct. I'm sorry, 16 and prone. I oh. forgot to add in her modifier. Oh. Ah, then I'm down. Alright. I want to add into D&D a rule that if somebody goes unconscious more than five times in a single fight, they suffer damage. Like exhaustion or something, because it's just like, getting up from unco like actual unconsciousness that many times in a row is not good for your brain. Oh, mm -hmm. for sure. Queen, it's your turn. And I'm once again, uh, okay. Well... You bring me back up, we're gonna put her down. I like those words. Uh... Uh, to note, he will come up by his turn, no matter what, because he is within range of my aura of life. If that changes your decision. And how much is that? It gives him one hit point, but that's enough to get him up and attacking again. Is that... I mean... Just something to keep in mind. How bad is she looking? Not bad. I mean, not great, but not bad. Do I want to hit her? I don't know if I want to do that. You don't want her to hit you. That's true. That's super That's true. <laughs> All right. Apologies, guys. It's okay. Combat okay. is... How many more potions do we have, incidentally? I use mine. I've got mine. Never mind. Which actually, thank you for saying that, because it might be a good idea for me to use I have used my potion. Uh, I don't want her to hit me, this is true. I don't know if I would go invisible. I think I would still pause. I don't know what else to do. Unless I can do anything to them, but I really don't have any confidence that they wouldn't just pass any save that I throw their way. So. I will give you, and you will get max, which is a consideration, so. Oh, that's true. I yes. forgot about that. So that'll be eight times two plus four again, which is 20. 20, yeah. So Bosnick yeah. is at 20. Nice work. Thanks. Uh, um, hey, you guys are... I, Credit where it's due. You guys are doing good. Do I have any bonus action? I can certainly bonus action invisible, but I don't know what strategy that would have. 
besides her being right there and about to hit me. Uh, and then while invisible, I can, well, until the start of my next turn, or until I attack, Mega Dam is real, or someone else too. Yeah, uh, no, wait, she can sniff. I'm so out of it. Yeah, that's my turn. All right, Galnus. Light her up. The first time this fight, she's in your face. <laughs> Yay! I can do something. Um, I felt the exact same. So, <clears throat> with her there and the uh, the spirit of the fire in the lantern, um, I'm gonna hold the uh, my hammer down near as close to almost touching the lantern as possible. I'll move forward and make like a motion, like I'm gonna jam her with my shield, and I'm gonna take two attacks on her while I say, as I'm moving in, I just say. I guess I'm meant to die today. You want my forge? I'll take your kid. And um, that's going to be uh, an 11. I don't think an 11 hits. Does not. Does a nat 20 hit? Sure does. Because I want her to fucking die. Um, you so, don't do what I'm going to um, I'm also going to um, burn a uh, level 2 spell slot for the smite. <laughs> nice. Um, and so the way he's going to do it is he's going to say... When he says that, he goes high with the miss, misses, flips it around in his hand, and comes back and cracks right against, right under the ribs. So let's see. Um, because she is undead, her mom is not, but she is. That's oh shit. Twenty four damage from just the smite. Uh, it's, yes, three. T yeah, so it's sixteen. It's twenty four. So it's twenty four damage from the smite. What is you're using a. A Warhammer, so that's a D8 plus your strength, which is five, right? No, six, because I have it empowered. Right. So that is an additional 14. Yes. All right, now you can roll damage. <laughs> okay, let me get the D8. Um, that's going to be a seven. Does that also get my strength as well, or no? Uh, no. Uh, but it gets the plus one from this, the weapon being enchanted. Yeah, so it's an eight. So it's going to be an eight, yes. Uh, so it'll be eight damage there, and then... Um... All right, and then roll your three D8s. Okay. Um, if you don't kill her, I'll be surprised. That's a six, um, and that's radiant damage. So six, a four, and an eight. For a so minute there, I didn't eight. think... You, for a minute there, I didn't think you were going to do it. Uh, but Gallus, I did not expect to do anything. <laughs> Gallus, how do you want to do this? Um, as I bring it up... Um, I'm just going to push that heat inside of me as I light the tip of uh, the flat of my hammer as it just kind of rips through or almost burning her away as it comes up from right under her solar plex out through the side of her neck. Okay. Um, and as her head goes flying off of her body, uh, her body slumps to the ground, leaking black blood and dissolves into ooze. Clovis. Good show. Oh, well, that changes what my plans were going to be in a, the most fantastic way. I'm sorry. Uh, no, I didn't want to have to do what I was planning to do. I'm much happier to do more helpful things. Um, hmm. Uh, I have... How much movement? How much door movement do I have? Oh, cool. I have peeked my head out the door movement. So I'm going to go for a little peekies. Um, <laughs> Just a little that. peekies. little peekies. A little Scooby-Doo around the door and uh, pshaw, guiding bolt. Um, it's going to be another level one uh, on the madam. Uh, that is a 24. 26. That will hit. Excellent. Uh, so that'll be 4d6, uh, 16 radiant damage. Okay. And the next attack against her has advantage. All right. Uh, just gonna poke my head out. This one's from the turtle. Oh. Okay. Uh, it chance. does, this one does not ground her. Okay. Um, seems like she has a little bit more oomph mm -hmm. than her daughter. Uh, but then I will poke my head back in. Uh, the breach. 
uh, I'm assuming it's larger than the space of the door. Yeah, the breach is that 15 foot square. Okay. Uh, Got it. Bosric. Uh, well, there's nothing close by right now, so I'm going to grab some more wreckage and throw it outside. Okay. There's only two in there, I think, right? Yeah, so if you grab it and throw it out, then it's out. Yeah, that's what I'll All do. Right. And I will position myself at the edge of a, a breach. And since since uh, wreckage throwing was free action, yes? Mm-hmm. I will hold if she comes close enough for it being within a sword strike. Okay. Um, Seltradot kind of turns over her shoulder to you, Galna, seeing you in that opening, and says, You take my child, I take your family. You take my family again, <laughs> I take yours. She's going to fly over to Zir. What? oh And she is going to um, make an attack against you, Zir Madir. Stunning. 16? Me be, baby. All right. That is 15 slashing damage. Okay. I'm down. You're down? Yep. All right. She picks up your body. And she flies into the forest with it. Hell yeah! Oh my god! She is moving too fast for any of you to catch her. Combat has ended. <laughs> this is the second time I've been kidnapped this week in D&D. <laughs> uh, unaware, I'm gonna poke my head back out when, it, when my next six seconds arrives. Um, and just... Where did she go? I can no longer sense her. Uh, what's the state of my... Uh, I'm going to head down to my forge. What's the state of my forge? Um, The crash was just them, like, trying to, like, digging out of it. Your forge is mostly intact. <clears throat> I'm going to go down there and actually put out the uh, the coals and everything. Okay. After a couple seconds, Clovis will re-enter this door, uh, look at all of you inside, and just say, We've got to stop letting this happen. Zero's gone. Do, do you guys lose people often? Is that a, a thing? It's becoming Which... a growing habit. Specifically with... Oh. Well, um, rest up, and I guess we're going to go to her house. Do we have time to rest? You don't have a choice. Can you afford not to? Can... Zero afford for us two? We're not good to her if we die on the doorstep. Oh, oh, I didn't say we weren't going to die on the doorstep. Um, and, friends, this happens again with the madam once more back at full fighting strength, but us with one less person if we don't. Well, she'll have a roof, so maybe some of us can reach her. Look, I'm happy to go up there. I'm happy to swing and miss or hit uh, your call. Uh, I'm just going to go get a drink. Well, I'm at least going to take a short rest. We have time. Yeah, uh, I think Clovis would say. We have time for some recuperation. We can't do what we did last time. All right, quick nap. Off we oh, pop. That's right. Real quick, Zir, are you are you tracking that? I sent you a, a quick message. 
Oh. <laughs> no, I was to wear. Let me take care of that real quick. <laughs> no worries. Uh... All right. So while uh, while Zira is taking care of our little secret business, what is everyone else doing? Now I'll get out the real dice, maybe. I think we're taking a short rest. Before secrets. Okay. I think I'm literally just laying on my back, spread out, looking up at the ceiling and not speaking to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think you can assume by the face I'm in. <laughs> so, um, you all uh, take a short rest, uh, and you prepare to make your way back to Madame Seltradot's mansion. Zier. Even in your unconscious state, you realize that you are flying. And your wounds are deep. Things are not great. But as the life leaves your body, as you feel your last breath, the last bit of strength you have escaping your mouth, you hear a voice in your head. No, my dear. I'm not done with you yet. You're going to be my most perfect creation. And you feel something press against your lips. And a disgusting drought passes your mouth. And then suddenly it tastes... delicious. And you can't help but reach out and grab the matron's arm as you drink deep of Madame Seltradot's blood. And that is where we are going to end this session of Biting <laughs> Malevolence. <laughs> I put my ring of mind shielding so I didn't hear shit. I just went, Oh, she didn't I'm say that in your head. She said that in your ear. <laughs> oh, okay, great. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we are unfortunately going to be on a month-long hiatus now, so that's a fun little breakaway. But uh, when we come Very back, brand, we, though. we are going to see what happened. We're going to see if Zir can resist the effects of the enchanted blood of Madame Seltradot. We are going to see if her companions can save her. But